Uh, hi, Greg Hiver. You're yes. from NeuroSky Company. Yes, I so, am. What, what is your work exactly? You, you invent uh, next generation interfaces between human and machines? Yes, uh, exactly. We, uh, we build biosensor technology. Uh, in this particular case, we, um, we are looking at brainwave tech, uh, brainwaves and uh, being able to translate brainwaves into emotional states, mental states. And so, you, you have created a, a helmet? Yes, it's a it's a headset. It could headset, be a wireless yeah. Bluetooth headset. It could be a, a USB wired headset. And, and for example, if you're in a bad mood, this uh, headset can understand well, it. What we've done is we've stripped down the technology to its base form. So we we uh, have created it in a single sensor form. So with a single sensor on your forehead. Uh, there's only a certain amount of information you can obtain uh, with the current technology. Um, and the mental states that we currently have, uh, are releasing are uh, attention, meditation, anxiety, and drowsy. So we okay, can so four? Right. Four, currently four uh, mental states. That okay, mental provide. states, okay. Okay. For example, you could use the uh, drowsy mental state for truck drivers who are driving uh, at night. Uh, if they fall asleep or they're falling asleep, you can tell how they're entering and exiting that sleeping state. And then stubs the truck. Or warn, warn them with an alarm. Or, yeah, um, to, wake, to wake up them. Yes, exactly. Okay, can, we, can you show us uh, the, the handset? Oh, uh, sure. So it's a, this is the headset. It's a single sensor electrode. It's yeah. a dry sensor, which means you don't have to prepare it with a, a gel. Yeah. Uh, the electrode picks up the brainwave information, it picks up skin information, muscle movement, and uh, it's fed into this uh, uh, hardware, hardware module. Which is a regular handset? No. no? Well, this, is, this earpiece doesn't really need to be there, it just contains okay. the, the module. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're cost-reducing right now to get it very small, so we, we won't need to, to uh, basically... And, and, okay, and for example, here he's, he's playing yes. with a video game, and uh, you can change the artificial intelligence of the game uh, with his uh, yeah, mental well, state. In terms of gaming applications, you, uh, this is a telekinesis game uh, we've uh, come up with. It, we build demos uh, for the, uh, the end application, and that's to allow our customers who build the actual games, mm -hmm. it gives them ideas to brainstorm with. Okay, you're uh, also in talks with uh, French company Musinote? Yes. From XP4? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, the partnership was announced uh, today, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. uh, we're very excited about that. Uh, they build interactive music, um, and uh, the idea is to incorporate brainwave technology into uh, helping uh, to select songs based on your emotional state. Okay, and uh, when will you sell these uh, handsets? Um, well, it'll be ultimately up to our customers when they release product, but we should re we should see product, uh, toy products, for example, coming to the market uh, next year, uh, and possibly video game um, products. Okay, for what price? Um, we envision a headset price of about fifty dollars. Um, fifty, so it's so it's about thirty euros or twenty. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> about the conversion. So it's inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. So inexpensive. That's the goal. Uh, low cost, where consumers can afford it. Uh, uh, it. It has the peripheral has to be about the same price as a high end game. So okay. if a game costs fifty dollars, your headset should be about fifty dollars. Okay. Well, thank you, Greg, for You're all these information. You're welcome. Have a good. Hello, bonjour.